Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be checking out um, a lost episode, something called Escape from the Spirit World. Now, somebody, I don't remember the name of exactly who, because it was a while back, but somebody did leave a comment recommending that I check out something called Escape from the Spirit World in between season or book two and book three of Avatar The Last Airbender. And I didn't do too much research into exactly what this is, but it seems like it was a game of sorts. And I found this video um, that is like an animated graphic novel of this episode or whatever it may be of Avatar. So just to whet our appetites in between uh, book two and book three, let's see what this is all about. What happened? Where am I? I get to voice act for you guys. You are in the spirit world. Princess Yue! Oh, there she is. Aang, your avatar spirit has been injured. If you don't act fast, you will lose your connection to your past lives. Now, is this because he got injured and the avatar cycle will end? Or because he stopped his training, you know? You must find your previous four past lives and reconnect with them. How do I do that? You will find them here in the spirit world, but be careful. Ko will try to steal your face. Oh, Ko returns in this? Oh, heck yeah. Be careful about what spirits you talk to. Some will help you, but others work for Ko and they will trick you. Good luck, Aang. Oh, Ko! I remember Ko freaked me out pretty bad. Okay, so it's previous four. So we know Roku, Kiyoshi. Roku, where are you? Ah! <laughs> Surprise! Hello, Aang. I don't remember, like, exactly what he sounds like. I'm sorry, Roku. I tried to master the avatar state, but I failed. Mastering the avatar state takes much spiritual discipline and patience. I learned this the hard way. Where are we going? To the Fire Sage's temple 150 year four years ago. Concentrate on your breath. Clear your mind of all thoughts. Enter the Avatar state. So this is Roku learning. Fun fact, Fire Sage Kaja is Fire Sage... What? <laughs> Shit. Inhale and exhale. So Roku is learning how to enter the Avatar state. I think my leg is falling asleep. Clearing mind. I hope we're not eating Komodo chicken for lunch again. Ah! Concentrate! <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> I've been in retreat for five months and I'm no closer to mastering the avatar state than when I arrived! I was so impatient, so I decided to use the winter solstice sun to help me. So there's only been four previous... No! There's been a lot of previous avatars. You did it, Roku. You've mastered the Avatar state. Well, not exactly. We saw a lot in that one, one of the pre like early episodes, but they only said four this time. I wonder why that is. I was stuck in the Avatar state. I could see my body, but I couldn't control it. Kind of similar to what Aang said. He knew how to break the Avatar State's hold on me. What happened? <laughs> Looks like we have a lot more training to do after you rebuild the temple. I see my own impatience in you, Aang. You will master the Avatar State as I finally did. Look for Avatar Kiyoshi in the place where- oh shit, what? 
Okay, it's kind of hard to read along. I don't want to, like, keep pausing it all the time. I'll read faster. Hey, Bay. Oh, here we go. We're seeing some old friends. Roku told me I'd find you here. Rawr. I'm happy to see you. Too. <laughs> I don't suppose you've seen Avatar Kiyoshi around, have you? There she is. Oh, I love the music here. I hope I don't have to edit it out. It's nice to see you, Aang. Sorry about that whole wrongfully accused of murder thing back in Shin Village. <laughs> My bad. That's okay. In fact, she lived 230 years, making her the oldest avatar in history. Avatar Chin the Conqueror died. I lived to do something about balance. I accomplished a lot of good, but I also made a lot of mistakes. One of my greatest challenges was dealing with a peasant uprising in Ba Sing Se. Down with the Earth King! The peasants felt that the Earth King's role was outdated and that he did not represent their interests. So they stormed the upper ring. Interesting how this happened so long ago, but the Earth King is still instated. To this day. So they were destroying priceless artifacts. The Earth King summoned me to help him end the revolution. The 46th Earth King is the current Earth King's great 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 grandfather. I don't care how you do it, but I want you to squash those unruly peasants. I won't do it. How dare you defy your king! Guards, arrest Avatar Kiyoshi. Wow. You'd think the Avatar would get more respect, but we see how, like, even Kiyoshi, just like Aang, has to deal with people just totally not respecting their role as the Avatar. Are you ready to make a compromise? Yes. I don't want this revolution either, but everyone in this kingdom must have a voice if balances to prevail over tyranny. So I propose this. You will listen to the peasants' grievances, and I will protect your interests and Ba Sing Se's cultural... Heritage. Agreed? Agreed. Immediately set to work training an elite force of air earthbenders. They would be silent, precise, and feared by all. They became known as the Dai Li. Ah! You trained the Dai Li? But they're the worst, most corrupt earthbenders in the world! I thought I was doing the right thing by creating a group that protected cultural history. I had no idea what they would become. Oh, I think they took their role maybe a little bit too... seriously. Aang, our actions always have an effect. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative, and sometimes not for many lifetimes. Hurry, you must find the waterbender avatar who came before me. But I don't even know his name. His name is Avatar Kuruk. We're gonna meet a new avatar? The water avatar? We're in the realm of Ko, hey bay. We better be careful. Ah! Ko took your face and replaced it with a bear's face. Relax, kid. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm Avatar Kuruk. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, I could tell he was from the Water Kingdom. Now tell me, have you seen a beautiful woman with long brown hair around here? No? Who is she? She is my wife. When I was a young Avatar, I traveled the world challenging other benders to tests of strength. I challenge you to an Agni Kai. Uh, I was just going to the store? Maybe he was just gonna buy some cabbages. I loved impressing people with my bending powers, especially girls. But you girls have never seen a lotus tornado before. It's beautiful. I love you, Avatar Kuruk. Ah! Foams at the mouth. I was arrogant proud and boastful. I never thought about settling down until I met the love of my life. We met during the new moon celebration when the sister tribes would come together as one. It was love at first sight. Her name was 
Umi. She was from the Southern Tribe. And she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. This, this reminds me of Sokka and Yue. He decided to change his irresponsible ways and settle down. A betrothal necklace? Umi, will you marry me? Yes! It reminds me of Sokka and Yue, and it, it hurts. We were to be married at the Spirit Oasis, but on the day of our wedding, tragedy struck. Umi, no! We fell into the spirit pond as some unseen force pulled her in. She's gone. Did she become one of the... She didn't drown. She disappeared into the spirit world. Ko took her to punish me for my past mistakes. Every year on the anniversary of our wedding, I traveled to the spirit world, hoping to save my wife from Ko, but I failed. Wow, this is tragic. I'm sorry. I know how that feels. Wait, I've seen her. Ko still has her. <gasps> what? This is a tie-in from way back then? He showed me Umi's face. Thank you, Aang. My search is not over yet. I will keep hunting Ko until Umi and I are reunited. Wait, you're supposed to help me with... Hurry, Avatar Yang Chen is waiting for you. But, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> are we going to get an episode of that? Hello, Avatar Yang Chen? Anyone here? It's an honor to meet you, Aang. So this is the wind, the airbender. It's been such an amazing experience to meet my past lives. And what did you learn by meeting them? Well, I realized that no avatar is perfect. Oh, they all struggled and made mistakes like me. But it made me wonder, why is the Avatar spirit a human in every life? Wouldn't it be better if the Avatar was an all-powerful spirit that never died? I don't think so. The Avatar must be compassionate towards all people. And the only way to do that is to live with them. I'm sorry, I saw all those characters and I'm just getting emotional. I love this show so much. Fear, anger, joy. <laughs> this is like a trip down memory lane and happiness. <sniffs> By feeling all of these emotions, it helps you understand how precious human life is. So you will do anything to protect it. It's beautiful. If we were all an all-powerful spirit living on the top of some mountain, you wouldn't have much in common with an ordinary person. So the avatar continues to take human rebirth. And with each life learns what it means to be human. Now that I've reconnected with all of you, does that mean the avatar spirit is okay? Yes, but your physical body is still injured. You need time to heal. And unfortunately, it seems your ability to enter the Avatar state has been disrupted. You won't be able to rely on your past lives to help you. You must rely on your friends. And when you wake up, you won't remember this journey to the spirit world. It will be like a forgotten dream. Until we meet again, Aang. So I'm guessing there have been more than four reincarnations, but... Maybe he just... Only on Nickelodeon. Maybe he just um, visited the most recent four. Because remember we saw all those statues in this one episode? In that one episode we saw all those statues. There were like dozens of them. Oh, okay. Well, that was neat. So we got to learn the names, which I immediately forgot. And see the faces of two of the other previous avatar incarnations which is really cool the water guy seems like a really fun guy i would watch a show about him and his journey being the avatar and i really hope that they will 
I mean, there's only one more book to go. How much can they cram into it about Avatar Waterboy? What's his name? But I would be curious to see an episode or two focusing on his journey to Ko and trying to get his wife's spirit back so that they can like be reunited and live together in the spirit world. That would be so cool. Maybe Aang like help him or something. I don't know. But just a little little um wedding of our appetites for uh, when we get back to watching more Avatar and book three, which probably won't be too long from now. But yeah, very, very exciting. And that was really cool. Thank you for recommending that to me. Oh, wonderful person that I don't remember who exactly said it, but <laughs> thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.